Welcome back to the Acting Analysis Finimators, and today I'm going to take a look at the movie Greyhound. Greyhound is playing on Apple Plus, and today's sequences are covering reactions, thought process, interaction with sets, and reasons for actors to do a certain thing, depending on the outside environment, and character interaction. And why waste time? Let's go straight into it. First up, we have the sequence here with Tom Hanks. He is waiting for a certain statement from these guys who've gotten into trouble. And the reason why I'm picking this is because there are a couple of things. I like when you have moments where characters think and they react to things. And he addresses the people that are off screen, but he says it while not looking at them, waits a bit and then looks up. And I like that little lead too with the eyebrows here. If you look at those shapes are going up first, then the eye, and then you can see the setup of the scene. And why I like this because if you have a shot where you don't want to do too many body mechanics, he's basically sitting and he's never really moving. These guys are shifting a little bit, not doing too much. He's not doing too much either. And his friend is basically just sitting, a little bit of movement here and some head turns here and there. So I think this is a great setup for you to kind of practice thought process and reactions and looks and thoughts. You can see here as he says things, let's go forward here. So Tom Hanks says something to him and he doesn't quite understand what's going on. So he has that look here. I say, wait, what? Doesn't quite get it. And he has that reaction to what he just said. <laughs> See, he's like, ah, oh, there's not getting it. But I like this because you have looks where you can think. You have looks where you can look to someone else. And the reason why I like this is because you can have looks towards certain people off screen and you can wait for their reaction. You can have a look over to the friend. The friend can have a reaction there. You can have reactions as they have to listen to something. Maybe they're saying something really stupid and he is reacting to things. I think this whole setup is a really good opportunity to practice that, where you have things where you might have some slower moments where you can see this here, just a little bit dart here, you can watch his eyes. Just a slight little beep, pause, and then goes into something more frantic. You don't really see the pen, but you can use this where maybe you see the hand, you see the pen moving, and it's the contrast of stillness and then moving to something a bit more fast. And the extent of mechanics here is basically when he's done with this, he can lean back. So again, it's not super taxing in terms of the amount of work you have to put in. And it's a good way to practice things like changes in thought, waiting for something, reactions between characters or a play between characters, confusion. A setup like this is really giving you the opportunity because you have all these characters, you can do all kinds of things between them and really focus on the thought process of whatever character you're focusing on. Second clip I thought was very interesting as he, he as in Tom Hanks, puts on his vest, he moves over and you can see slightly throughout the movie, there's lots of waves and wind, that ship is definitely not stable. But what I like about this here is I watch that. He gets there, bumps into the guy and what he does is this. And I like this a lot because you could have all kinds of reactions to this character who's stressed, there's stuff happening, his men are being attacked, the ship is being attacked. He bumps into this, he could be yelling at him, he could be pushing him away, he could be telling him, why are you in my way? Why are you bothering me? Whatever it is. But he does that thing of adjusting the hat, pause, and then this. And it's not a push off, it's not something angry, it's just that little, even like, I don't say it's a slight squeeze on that shoulder, but it's just this moment of, sorry, let's get back to it. And it tells us something how the captain is interacting with the crew. So this is something for you to think about. As you have multiple characters in your scene, and let's say they exchange looks, they have a heated argument, they bump into each other, whatever it is, you have to look at how do they react to each other? Is this a gentle gesture? Is that a caring gesture? These are all things that will tell us more about who they are. And to me, it elevates the scene into a different level because you get to know more without the lip sync. This is purely through body acting, character interaction, pantomime potentially if there's no sound. But those little unspoken moments I think are really, really cool in a shot. Speaking of cool, <laughs> the thing do, as you, if you're watching my clips, you know that I'm a big fan of sets. And I'm also a big fan of environments affecting the sets because all of that is going to affect the character or multiple characters depending on what you have in your scene. So in this case, it's getting really cold. It's freezing. He's trying to look outside to see what is going on, but he can't. So he's already frustrated. So even this already is impacting that where this could be the moment in your scene where he goes somewhere out of frustration, for instance. And then as he goes out, you can see totally frozen. And all of that, the wind, you can see he has to wear this. He's got the wind in his face that changes the expression. The shoulders are up. 
they are working really hard back there. And depending on this, he doesn't have gloves on. So holding this, this could be really cold. So you can play it up with finger acting. Maybe the elbows would be a bit more tucked in. So he's really trying to protect himself from being closed because it's so cold. All of that to me is just more fuel to your scene. Like something like this. If this was really, really hot and it'd be sweaty in a t-shirt, it would be a different expression. Again, because of the environment. And I always harp on that when I talk to my students. But to me, it's not just... Well, you just add a set because you have to. This to me adds ideas. It adds elements that will change the shot and it will change the acting choices to make your shot more original, more different. And not something where, as I talked about posing, where you just have your T-pose, you lower your arms and then you do your movements and that's it. So again, him being cold, like everything will have that type of feel because it's windy and it's cold versus it's hot and someone's acting like this. So think about that. And this is why I always mention sets and mention environment and the weather, the heat, because all of that can add more layers and just something new and different to your shot so that you stand out on your demo reel potentially. Speaking about standing out on demo reels, I have workshops if you want to work with me so I can help you with your demo reel so you can stand out. Feel free to sign up, link in the description with all the information. You can sign up at any time. And speaking of time, if you're still watching this till the very end, I highly appreciate it that you're so patient and watching this till the very end. And speaking of end, if you don't want this to end, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell button so you don't miss any of my uploads. And other than that, I will say that's it from me and I will see you in my next upload.